All right, so here we are. We have the uh, goggles too binded with the Cadex Vista and uh, in the last video it is working now uh, and it is in the public release firmware so everyone can access it and uh, do this to bind their goggles to, to their air unit or Cadex Vista. So let's get into the MSP display port. So I'd like to get the Betaflight OSD to show up in the goggles. So I'm going to go through the setup now really quickly and then take it out for a test flight to show you what it looks like. So over in uh, Betaflight, I've plugged in the quad here, and uh, just to go into ports tab, I just wanted to check the MSP port uh, is on UART3, so I've got this as the uh, uh, connection to the Cadex Vista, and uh, we'll need to know this as a UART3 for the setup in the CLI. So to set up the MSP display port, we go into CLI, we type set OSD underscore display port underscore device is equal to MSP press enter so that would set it to MSP and then the next one is set display port MSP underscore serial equals to and this part you have to make it equals to the UART number minus one so my UART number was three I will set it to two press enter once those two things are set we have to type in save all right so saving that would reboot beta flight and you won't see anything different basically it will just uh, bring you back to the ports tab which I was in last before the CLI and uh, it should be set up now so I think the only thing that I'll need to do now is go into the goggles uh, turn on the Cadex Vista by plugging in a battery and then we'll check out the display on the goggles so I'll try to record that and show you it here all right, so here we are. I have uh, plugged in a battery to the quadcopter, powered up the goggles, and uh, the, you can see that there's the OSD that from Betaflight being displayed. So there are all the elements. Um, I haven't actually played around with moving it um, around for these goggles. So these were in the place that looked well in my previous goggles, uh, the analog ones, but uh, for this, Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, yeah, so I guess my analog ones were showing these OSD display. So I'm going to have to shuffle these around to make it look nicer here. But um, there you go. It actually is there. And I'm keen to go out and give it a flight right now. So let's go. So I'm out at the uh, local park. Uh, this is a smaller park than others that I fly. So I will be taking this out um, quite easy. Uh, it was quite windy as well. If you see the trees there. Um, so uh, big gusts of wind would be pushing me around quite a lot um, so just arming there and uh, taking off and it looks great um, so you can see the MSP display port overlay there so it looks really good and all the elements that I generally use <coughs> got the uh, quad tag at the top left and uh, on the side there I do have the uh, battery voltage so I'm running a 4S pack in the bottom left I do have the milliamp hours and the current draw. In the middle down the bottom I have the altitude from the barometer. On the right hand side I have it. Uh, the mode that I'm flying in is air and also you can see that the overlay of the goggle um, details as well. So the recording time in the top right and the bottom right we have a few more things as well. The battery voltage that's been reported so I think it lines up and marries up with the um, battery voltage on the left <coughs> from beta flight OSD uh, and the link as well so the link of HD four bars I'm in a really small park so I'm not going anywhere far so I don't think those bars drop and the 50 megabit per second doesn't drop either of course in the bottom right right in the corner is the goggle battery so in this video, in the flight, I try to take it easy. Um, like I said, it's a bit windy, but I just wanted to show, I guess, what kind of quality you get out of the recording. Now, there's one thing that I want to say about it is watching it in the, from this video recording after flying, it looks good. But in the goggles, it looks much, much better. The uh, OLED screens really make it pop a lot better in the colors much more saturated colors um, the contrast is better and 
it feels a whole lot better even though it's the same camera system and the Vista system um, when using it with the goggles V2 uh, comparing both of them when putting it on uh, to fly uh, when you're flying with the V2 goggles and this one it <laughs> it's the same quality just a, a lot better because of that OLED screen so um, I think that's something I can't show obviously um, in the video but uh, yeah that's just my experience um, it is a lot clearer uh, for some reason just because of the, the, the colors and everything and uh, yeah the contrast that I said so yeah that's just my experience I really do like it um, so I'll be flying it with this uh, more often I might switch it back just to see if uh, <laughs> if I you know see the difference and feel that difference uh, and then I report back to you but uh, yeah so just a bit of a flight here I'll show you it all till the end at the end I do go up slowly to the trees I think I do it about now yep so there we are I'm just trying to go through some of these gaps slowly just so you can see the details that it gives Yeah, so there you go. Um, this is the Cadex Vista with the Nebula Pro uh, on the Goggles 2 um, and the dis MSP DisplayPort working.